Yo what's up guys it's Aptrix here today in this video I'll be showing you guys the best settings for my PS2 PS2 emulator on Android well before starting as you might be able to see I have just gotten my hands on the Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 Ultra I'll be uploading its unboxing and Nintendo Switch emulation video pretty soon so be sure to hit that like button subscribe turn on all notification with that being said let's get started to start off you'll need to make sure that you are running the latest build of my PS2 emulator the 1 June 2024 version because the previous version of the my PS2 emulator did not have the best settings which I am about to show you guys. Also once you open it for the first time as you guys might be able to see it's not really optimized for tablet. Anyways I will just go ahead and tap on this option. To start off many people were saying that they are unable to see their game inside the my PS2 emulator or the emulator is not recognizing the game. Now you will need to make sure to tap on the folder option and make sure to go inside game and you need to import your games inside this directory only. If you import your game inside this directory it won't be recognized make sure to go inside the game directory afterwards tap on this option and then tap on local here just go ahead and select the game that you would like to import inside of the emulator and wait until it has been completed this way your game will be 100% recognized inside the emulator you don't really need to mess with the FTP options or start connect servers etc that's not the complete point of this emulator anyways once you head back you will be able to notice that our game is now being showcased inside the emulator and I have to say the my PS2 UI on this big tablet is looking Looking pretty impressive once you have imported your game successfully just go ahead and tap on it to launch now at the top right corner you will be able to see two options the first one is known as settings so let's tap on this option and it will show you some of the main settings which is available inside this emulator for example being able to choose uh, like stress 16 is to 9 or 4 is to 3 aspect ratio I would prefer if you go with the stretch aspect ratio afterwards make sure to turn on d-pad this is very important also you can turn on the right stick Anyways let's also make sure to enable the show FPS counter option that way if we just head back uh, we will be seeing the FPS bar at the top side but unfortunately it is covered by the notch of Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 Ultra. Anyways as you will be able to see the game is about to start let's just go ahead and tap on this corner and afterwards tap on options and it will open the secret best settings for this emulator. So the first option which you can mess with is the upscaling option. With this option you will be able to upscale or increase the resolution of the game which you are trying to emulate. You can go all the way up to 8x graphics resolution but most of the time I don't really recommend you guys to go above 1440p. For today's video I will set it to 1440p because this tablet has 2k resolution display so it should support it properly. Afterwards in terms of frame limiter mode make sure to change this option this is very important. Tap on the unlimited option if you want to get more FPS. If you face lagging issues then I recommend you guys to keep the graphics at native PS2 and you will be able to see the rendering is super fast now. Set it to 1080p afterwards uh, set the uh, frame limiter mode to turbo. And yeah as you guys can see our game is working properly. Before I show you guys more of the best settings here's our today's google play store gift card redeem code giveaway which I am doing on my channel regularly in my daily videos. To participate in this giveaway you just have to be the first one to claim the redeem code. For that be sure to hit that subscribe button turn on all notification. Let's get back to the video. Anyways I'll just go ahead and pause the game for a second. Uh, this is most important option. You can underclock your game to make sure it performs even better. For example in terms of EE cycle skip if you just go ahead and select the 2 skip and also in terms of rate if you set it to 2 you will notice that your game will perform much better and now you will be able to see that the game is working even faster so in my opinion this is the best settings for my ps2 emulator let's tap on the upscale option and set it to 2k and this time you will be able to notice that the game has become a bit slower i am pretty sure that it is running above 60 fps that's why it is pretty smooth and fluent without any graphical issues or freezing issues with the help of the best settings which I just showed you guys you will be able to emulate all your favorite PS2 games inside the my PS2 emulator possibly with 60 FPS and no issues whatsoever. Anyways be sure to hit that like button subscribe turn on all notification as I upload similar videos on my channel. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.